what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the beacon of nick i hope all of you guys are having an awesome day so far today guys we are going to get into the 25th anniversary of pokemon which is already going to be next year to think that pokemon has been around for 25 years is so insane i'm 25 years old right now and pokemon's basically been here my entire lifespan so um next year for 25 years i'm guessing we'll get something really big for it like a game or some kind of big release we're going to cover a brand new rumor that does uh claim to know what we are going to be getting and I'll let you guys know what I think we might get next year. So um, if you do comment below, let me know your guys' thoughts about the rumor and what you guys think we might get for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. I will always reply to every comment as long as I can. Thank you all for your support for this channel. Uh, welcome if you guys are new. I love you all so much. With everything out of the way that we just said, let's hop into it. <laughs> Like every rumor, guys, please take this with a grain of salt. We have no idea if it's true or false or who made the rumor, but they're always fun to go over because they always get my mind thinking about new possibilities. Uh, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it, but it starts off by saying, as it's the 25th anniversary, the Pokemon company has been getting something big planned. Uh, you can believe this or not, I don't care, <laughs> um, but this is what you're getting. So the guy's like, you know what, I know this. If you guys believe it, so be it. If you guys don't, so be it. I think a lot of these start out that way because they want you to think that like they're it, it they, they think it makes them seem more credible but maybe they actually do know i who knows obviously so this is the coolest part guys gen gen one through three games are going to be ported to switch in early 2021 so that means gen one gen two gen three which is going to be red and blue gold and silver and then also ruby sapphire what i think it could be i'll, I'll go more into detail guys but i think we, we are we might get like a um a three game collection next year um, this is Diamond and Pearl remakes called Shining Diamond and Glowing Pearl. So Shining Diamond, Glowing Pearl. I, if they're gonna have Gen Four remakes, I just don't think this would be the name of them. But they're they're, they're, they're claiming they know, but their guess is as good as mine, and your guys' guesses are just as good as mine. Um, and they're gonna be a November 2021 release. Which, honestly, if they're gonna have Gen Four remakes, I think they're gonna be coming out in uh, 2021, like every single uh, mainline Pokemon game. It says Dynamax and Gigantamax return. The starters, Staraptor, Luxray, Floatzel, Garchomp, and more get G-Max forms. So, Staraptor, Luxray, Floatzel, and Garchomp. I can see all of them getting G-Max forms if there is going to be, uh, if they are returning in, in uh, Gen 4 remakes. I think no matter what, guys, my, I am 95% sure, uh, this is my opinion, though, that we're going to be getting Gen 4 remakes next year. It just makes the most sense to me. Um, Dialga's primal form is green and orange and then and blue, while Palkia's is black, red, and pink. Uh, the better looking of the two. So they're saying that Palkia looks better, which I like Dialga way more personally, but I think Dialga's uh, green, orange, and blue sounds pretty cool. Um, it says the gyms are stadiums, but they're not sport themed. So if, if you guys, obviously a lot of you guys already know, but uh, all the gyms in Galar were kind of themed by sports. I just wondered how they were going to do that in, in Gen 4 because obviously like the gyms were not built for G-Maxing in the, the first games and like the original Diamond and Pearl games. So they had to like go back and, and totally make new gyms for like the Gigantamax uh, and Dynamax feature. Uh, I've seen a lot of people on the internet talking about like will Dynamax be coming back and I'd say it's about 50-50. I think we have about a 50-50 shot of Dynamax returning in the Gen 4 remake. I just think with Game Freak already knowing how to do gigant uh, G-Maxing and uh, Dynamaxing so well, I, I think, honestly, for them, it'd be easier for them to actually include it in, the, in these games, but we'll see. Um, the story is mainly the same as the original, so they're saying, obviously, the Gen 4 story. It's basically going to be the same story, but they're going to incorporate the idea of G-Maxing into it. Kind of like Omegas were in Gen 3. It's the same ordeal, like the remakes get the new gimmick. Um, this is, I think this will really tell us like how the future is going to be in the future. Like, if all of the remakes are going to have Mega Evolution, or if they're going to have whatever gimmick is the new one from the new generation um so we'll see instead of the battle frontier it's called the battle park and it's like a battle frontier in a way with a few attractions so basically they're saying like um it's kind of the same thing as the battle frontier from emerald but there's a new there's a few new attractions so i would imagine that we'll get something like the battle frontier in emerald version but i don't know what that's going to be but hopefully it's gonna be something really cool i, I love i love emerald like the, the the post game in emerald made that generation so much better for me um, it says contest and the underground return. So contest, underground return, interesting. Uh, I think the underground hat, like the, un like the Sinnoh underground, was like one of the most like popular features in Sinnoh. So obviously, like, it, I think it has to come back. Like that was one of my most memorable things in the Sinnoh games. Um, okay, uh, it says Pokemon do follow you. Wait, um, sorry guys, I was thinking about Emerald. Yeah, I, I do think the Battle Frontier will be coming back. That's I, I meant in um, Diamond and Pearl it could be coming back, but I love that in Emerald though. That's what I meant. Um, 
Pokemon do follow. Okay, Pokemon follow you again. So the one thing I didn't like about the Gen, uh, about like the Gen Eight Isle of Armor following mechanic, it didn't seem like the following was very refined. Like it seemed like the, some some of the Pokemon were way too slow, and some of them were way too fast. Some of them like did kind of keep up with you, and some you had to be in your bike going as fast as you could possibly go, and Pokemon still caught up to you. So. I hope that they do have the follow mechanic return in the future, that they do make it a little more refined. And hopefully, hopefully they just kind of follow you like exactly the, the speed that you're going, you know, that'd be awesome. Um, there's no DLC. So whether or not that the Gen 4 remakes get DLC is, is going to be very telling because they could honestly have the DLC be for um, Arceus and for um, Giratina, but I don't know. One day, if we ever get the gallery remakes, like will they include the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra like with the game itself? Or will they not be in the game at all? But that's, I mean, I know that that's like a far-reaching question that will not, that, the answer, we have no idea the answer, but um, the Animator episode is a post-game episode with Giratina and Arceus. So that was a really important thing about in, in Generation 4. And if there is going to be G-Maxing in the Gen 4 games, I think it'll tie into Giratina and Arceus a lot. And we know that Arceus will not be in the Crown Tundra. So that is going to be really, really weird, in my opinion. Um, and then there's a day one distribution of the shiny Riolu that can gi Gigantamax it when it's Lucario. So they're saying that there's going to be a G-Max Lucario, but we didn't, we did not get a G-Max Lucario in Sword and Shield, but there, they could add G-Max forms in the future that weren't included in Sword and Shield. Like any Pokemon from this generation could get a G-Max if they ever made future games, you know? But, um, so I'll be honest, guys. I don't think that person had like actual inside information or knows for sure what we're going to be getting next year. But I do think they were a really good guesser, and their ideas and my ideas kind of line up together. Like, I do think we'll be getting some kind of bundle where we get a Gen 1, 2, and 3 game. My theory is it might be uh, Yellow, Crystal, and Emerald um, to make it easy all in one game, kind of like Super Mario 3D All Stars. And I do think we'll be getting like Pokemon Snap and other games that are going to be special around that time too. Next year's got to be really, really big for Pokemon. There's probably a lot of things that we don't even know about that are going to be coming out next year, like maybe hardware, software, uh, interfaces. Like, I know we'll be getting, like, the ability to transfer from Go to Home pretty soon. Maybe That might be by the end of the year, not next year. But 25 is a, a big, monumental time for Pokemon. 25 years of Pokemon. It's just absolutely insane. And I do think we'll be getting the Gen 4 remakes towards the end of next year in November. Uh, whether or not we get Dynamax and G-Maxing in the Gen 4 games is up, for, is up for debate. I mean, your guys' guess is just as good as mine. I would say we probably will, but a lot of people would disagree with me, and that's totally fine. Um, but if you guys want to let me know, what do you guys want to see next year for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon? How do you feel about the rumor? And what do you guys think about what I think we'll be getting next year? I'm really, either way, no matter what we get, I'm sure it'll be awesome. And I'm really excited for it. So um, I want to thank every single one of you guys for watching. I hope you all have the best rest of your day. Thank you for all your support for this channel. Uh, I love you guys so much. Stay happy, healthy, hydrated. Uh, if, hey guys, also, if the green screen is a little bit off in this video, I'm going to keep working the kinks out. Um, I, I got to make adjustments and make it better in the future, but I, I definitely will do that. So uh, thank you all so much again. I hope you all have a great day one more time. And thank you so much. Peace out, guys. <laughs>